the hub piece, um, as you can see here, um, is made from plywood and it's all laser cut plywood. So the first thing we'll do is I'll, I'll show you the different parts. Um, these are the uh, blade attachment posts. This is the actual hub piece right here. Um, these two rings with the four cutouts, these go inside of the nose cone shoulder. And then the one with three, um, that one goes down here at the base. Um, and this little one here, um, you can use it as a stop for, your, as a, for the uh, free spinning hub, or you could replace it with the aluminum rod or the aluminum tube, which I've shown here. Um, so technically what I'm going to show you is I'm not going to use that little piece, but it is available in case you lose pieces. Let me get this out of the way. Um, go ahead and flip it over and just make sure that it's cut through all the way with a laser. And if it's not, just go ahead and take your hobby knife and run it along the perimeter to break the little ticks. And then everything should just pop out really nicely. And go ahead and do this for all the parts. Um, just don't lose any. We're going to start with these three or the, these four right here first, and then we'll use these a little bit later. In this video, I want to show you how to assemble the hub using the uh, blade supports and the hub piece. And you're also going to need the little aluminum tube. Um, we're going to cut this little tube, but you need to find it. And there's two pieces in the kit. Um, there's a, a larger diameter and a skinny diameter. We want the smaller one. Um, it's the one that goes through the blade supports like this. Um, the first thing we need to do is to cut the, this tube to length and the length you can see is right here on the little hub piece. Um, it's, it's about three eighths of an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, it can't be too long, uh, but it be, can be a little bit too short. Um, and to cut it, you're going to need a uh, hobby knife and you're going to need your safety glasses. And I'm going to go, let's see, I'm going to put it right here next to it so I can get it started. And I'm going to just lay my, my uh, knife on top of it. So I got my length right there. Um, and then I don't want to use the tip of the blade. I want to use the heel, the bottom part, because that's where it's really strong. And basically I'm going to just roll the aluminum tube along the table and it will snap. And that's what we want. And we need three of these pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and let me double check to make sure I got it the right length. And it should just fit right into that little that little slot right there. And mine is eh, just a little bit long, but I can sand it down just to get it in there. So I'll just put this one right next to it so I can measure it. And what I like to do is I'm rolling. I like to put, I like to straddle my fingers like this. They're, 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 they're not going to get cut because they're away from the blade. But what it does is it allows me to keep them down to the table so they don't flip and uh, go off onto the floor. Okay, I'm going to do the last one. some sandpaper over here. Just going to sand it down. This is some medium grit sandpaper. And the only reason is I wanted to get it to fit into that slot. It doesn't have to be a nice pretty end. No one's going to see this and it doesn't affect the performance of the rocket at all. Still here a little long. Okay, and 
that's perfect. Just to make sure the other ones fit. Okay, that one fits. I think this one was a little bit long. Okay, that one fit. So here are my three pieces. Okay. Okay, next you're going to need some thick CA glue. And we're going to take one of the little posts, put it through the hole on the blade support, just like that. And we're not going to lay it on top. We're going to come in from the bottom side. So this is the top, the underside is the bottom. We're going to come in underneath. And right now, oh, I should have, should have checked this. If you put these in here and they're a little tight, okay, it's a little bit tight. So what you do is you take a piece of sandpaper, fold it in half, and stick it inside of that little a little notch right there, the little long one. And just sand gently back and forth on both sides and you can you lift it up to do one side and push it down to do the other side. You can do both sides pretty quick. Okay, that's much better. That's a nice, really nice slip fit. You don't want it to be too sloppy, but you don't want it to be too tight. Okay, so then I come in from the bottom side, just like that. Get that little rod inside the hole. It won't go all the way through. It's designed to uh, go about a one third of the way through the, through the piece of plywood. So it's just gonna rest on the surface, just like that. And then, I see, I flipped it over. Now I'm on the bottom side. And I don't want to get any glue near the, near the, the uh, blade support. I want to keep it on the outside edge. I'm going to do both sides. And see, keep it away from the inside. And then we're going to put a drop of super glue accelerator on it to lock it in place. I'll just to hold it there for a second. Just make sure that this can rotate. Make sure you didn't glue it. If you did, you have to pry that a little aluminum tube off. Just scrape off the glue with the knife and then sand the, uh, the hub so you get it back down to the, balls, uh, to the plywood and then try this again. The thicker the glue, the better here. I'm kind of using a medium viscosity, and I wish it was a little bit thicker, but that's okay. So then we know it works when we can rotate it up all the way, and it's going to lock into place just like that. That little, little tooth on the tip keeps it at the right dihedral angle. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same with the other two. So again, the procedure is put it through the hole, come in from the bottom side, okay, this is my bottom side, come underneath, flip it over, and then hit it with the glue right there. And just a drop of the accelerator to lock it in place. I'll just do the other side. And here's the final one. Goes through the hole. So this is my bottom side, this is the top. Come in underneath, through the slot, 
Put the little aluminum tube into the slot, flip it over, and lock down the corners. a little tight. You want to be pretty loose. And I'm just going to wiggle this one back and forth to kind of get the glue out of there. All right. Okay. And that's the hub. And uh, the next time we'll attach the hub well, actually, we got to put the nose cone on first, so we'll get to that. Um, so we'll just pause right here and we'll go on to the next video.